let's look at some simple examples and determine some bond angles. So here's two cases, SiH3 plus and CCL minus, CCL3 minus. So when we draw the Lewis electron dot structures, we'll be able to determine bond angles from our VSEPR arrangements. The question I have is, what is the bigger bond angle? The HSIH bond angle, theta 1, in this molecule, or the CLCCL bond angle, theta 2, in this molecular ion. Think about that for a moment and make a selection. Let's look at some explanations for each of the three answers. A, each center atom is bonded to three atoms, so the angles are equal. B, Cl atoms are larger than H atoms, so theta 2 is the larger angle. Or C, the carbon in C, Cl3 minus has the larger steric number, so theta 2 is the smaller angle. Consider those possible explanations and make a selection. We're looking at the bond angles in two molecular ions, SiH3 plus and CCl3 minus. In order to determine bond angles, we have to draw the Lewis electron dot structure to get the steric number to get to a VSEPR arrangement. So let's do that. The Lewis electron dot structure for SiH3, the Lewis electron dot structure for CCl3 minus. So clearly we have a steric number of 3 for silicon three hydrogens that it has to accommodate. This carbon in CCl3- has to accommodate one, two, three, four things, three chlorines and a lone pair, steric number four. The steric numbers will give us a VSEPR arrangement for SiH3, a trigonal arrangement, three things, for CCl3- four things, a tetrahedral arrangement. Now, when we go from the VSCPR arrangement to the shape and the bond angle, we have to take into account whether we're talking about bonded atoms or lone pairs. We don't include lone pairs in our VSCPR uh, shape. We don't include them in the molecular shape. So here, SiH3 is a trigonal molecular ion. All three of the steric number are bonded atoms. For CCl3 minus, Three of the four things are bonded atoms. The fourth, a lone pair, isn't taken into account in naming the shape. So the shape is a little pyramid, a little trigonal pyramid. So a trigonal pyramidal molecule, the bond angle starts based on steric number four tetrahedron of 109.5, but again, because there's a lone pair, that steric interaction squeezes together the three remaining chlorine atoms, in this case, to a bond angle of about 107 degrees. So we know a bond angle something less than 109, around 107, and a bond angle of 120 degrees. So in this case, SiH3 has the larger bond angle compared to CCl3 minus. 